Hi everyone, my name is Matt Aquilino with Nexus Baseball and this is Safe Baseball, where I quickly cover your questions about injury prevention when training for baseball. In the last video, I looked at what baseball is doing to prevent pitching injuries, and this week I want to cover why those, with those efforts baseball hasn't solved elbow injuries. From workload reductions in previous decades to the modern high performance programs and analysis, there's still a fundamental flaw with baseball's approach in my opinion. Most minor and major league pitching coaches are former pitchers who are tasked with passing on their skills and coordinating the pitching staff. Highly competent individuals who know their craft, they focus on the form instead of the function, trusting their eye and no commonly slow motion video analysis. Their job is to develop a staff that can throw strikes and get outs when called upon. They're experts at pitch delivery, but not anatomy, physics, or muscular control. Even if more versed in biomechanics, the question becomes one of implementation. How the science translates into practice. This is probably the largest disconnect between the ever-growing field of pitching mechanics and the game itself. Pitchers themselves are also not scientists, they're performance athletes paid to win ball games. At a professional level, strength coaches, athletic trainers, and data analysts also work with pitching coaches to develop the pitching staff. The strength coaches develop exercise routines targeted at developing the muscles used in the pitching motion, while the athletic trainers diagnose any injuries they may sustain and help provide treatment. The analytics staff will help the pitching coach break down the data side of pitching and develop pitching strategies to tackle opposing hitters based on their strengths weaknesses, and trends. None of these groups are usually versed in biomechanical analysis and are not qualified to perform that type of analysis work. Instead, they rely on generalized conditioning programs based on summaries of existing research and verbal feedback from the pitchers themselves to create their programs. This is fundamental disconnect that has resulted in the lack of answers on the issue of pitching injuries. Instead, a greater focus on the anatomy required in conjunction with biomechanical analysis is required to solve these problems. In the next Safe Baseball video, I will be looking at what the general consensus on what causes pitching injuries is. Remember, if you like the content, please subscribe. See you next time at Nexus Baseball.